Hi guys, as usually it's me, just a voiceover and you are watching Review Machines. Today we'll punch into the exciting world of military vehicles of the past. We'll meet the rarest and most interesting machines of the Second World War period. By the way, it's the second part of the video of this topic. The first one was published on our channel about two years ago, and it turned out to be quite popular among our audience. So we today are very excited to continue the theme. Well, it's high time to begin, so get comfortable, my friends, we are to start right now. This is Steyr 1500. It was designed in 1941 by well-known Ferdinand Porsche and produced in Austria by Steyr Daimler Puch. There are many modifications, but this one is a commander's vehicle, with carrying capacity 1.5 tons. One of the main features of the machine – the air-cooling 8-cylinder engine, 3.5 liters capacity and 86 HP. This engine is designed for use in any climate, from desert to snow. The maximum speed is 90 km per hour. This tire is all-wheel drive vehicle. The front drive is part-time. Then it has an independent front suspension and the axle and leaf springs at the rear. When we are looking at this tire, we can notice that the manufacturer is very particular about every detail. There are all the necessary tools on the body. And it's interesting that all of them are mounted so thoroughly, not to dangle and tremble while moving. And this is a tone signal. Quite curious solution, isn't it? Fiat Spa TM40 – Italian all-wheel drive prime mover. This machine firstly were produced in 1942. The main function is towing artillery cannons and other heavy military cargoes. The vehicle is huge and impressive. You can compare it with me now. The total weight is 6.5 tons. It's equipped with 6-cylinder engine, 9.3 liters capacity and 105 HP. It provides maximum speed about 43 km per hour. Certainly it has four-wheel drive, and the wheels are really huge. They are extremely effective on off-roading, because they have huge diameter, but they are not very wide and can slice soil to the firm ground. And due to the power bumper, this vehicle is able to cut its way right through the various obstacles. Quite a curious solution. The both axles of the vehicle front and rear are turnable. Such a solution provides the perfect maneuverability that is especially important for combats in mountains. To reduce the dimensions of the car, the engine is installed right in the middle of the body, and as we see it takes a lot of inner space. So it's quite enough room for the rear passengers, but the driver's space is tight. Also I'd like to say that totally was produced only about 300 units, and nowadays this vehicle is so rare. American all-terrain vehicle Studebaker M29C Whistle. Firstly, it was produced in 1943. It's designed mainly for carrying soldiers and cargoes in the conditions of the toughest of roading, including deep snow. The HV is equipped with 6-cylinder engine with displacement 2.8 liters and 70 horsepower. The metal tracks are covered with rubber. The width is 510 mm. Each track has 8 rollers and front drive. Besides, there is quite an effective suspension. The ATV is not very large, they tried to make it compact, so it's very little room for the driver here, and the dashboard is on an unusual position. The engine is installed in the middle of the body, it takes much space, so there are only three seats at the rear. The vehicle can be equipped with various guns, most often it was 75mm caliber Canon M20, but there were even modifications with flamethrowers. Moreover, this vehicle can be equipped with additional attachments that allow this machine to float and make it really amphibious. Canadian armored vehicle Chevrolet C-15TA. It had been supplied in military forces since 1943 by General Motors of Canada. It's four-wheel drive vehicle. The body is made of armor plates from 6 to 14 mm thickness. It's equipped with six cylinders, 4.4 liters, 104 HP engine that can accelerate the heavy vehicle up to 72 km per hour. It's quite a large machine, the total length is almost 5 meters. There is a manual gearbox with 4 inches. Generally, the machine has a very simple and reliable construction. Besides, it proved to be quite good in off-roading. There is only one drawback. The turning radius is about 15 meters. Let's see what's inside. 
There are two seats at the front and eight seats at the rear of the body. But in practice it carried even more people. A curious detail. There are special pillows not to hurt heads of the front passengers. These vehicles turned to be very popular not only in Canada, but in many other countries, and they had been used up to 1960s. So this Chevy is cheap, simple, but effective machine. Let's move on. Another one unique American machine of the Second World War period. It's the rarest air drone prime mover Clitrack M2 high speed tractor. It was produced in 1940 by Cleveland Tractor Company, USA. Initially, it was designed as military all purpose tractor, but in fact, they were used as air drones to tow and maintain military aircrafts. The vehicle is equipped with six cylinders engine Hercules 115 HP, and the maximum speed is 35 km per hour. That is decent for such a machine. Looking at this tractor closely, we see numerous strange devices mounted on the body, and as to me, they give us kind of steampunk look. Actually, all these devices here to maintain our crafts. There is a powerful generator 110 volts, the high pressure pump, the balance with nitrogen, huge winch, and other gears. And air drum screws even called this vehicle an earth for bombers. These tractors successfully met all the demands for aircraft maintenance, so they were used in America for a long time, even up to Korean War period. Now you see on your screens a really unique vehicle. It's the only remained machine in the world. German commander's vehicle Fenomen Granite 1500A. It was designed in 1940 by Fenomen Company, and there were two models, rear and all-wheel drive, like this machine. Besides, there were some other variants of this car, but the commander's modification is the rarest. It's equipped with air cooling four-cylinders engine, 2.7 liters capacity, 15 HP power, that provides maximum speed about 100 km per hour. There is a manual gearbox with four ranges and transfer case with reducing gear. The vehicle has part-time all-wheel drive system. As we can see, the interior is quite reserved, but well considered. Look at the pedals, for example. Even the inlets are equipped with special brushes not to let any soil inside. As I said, the Commander's version is the rarest, and this car is the only remaining unit in the world. By the way, it was sold in private collection in 2012 for $72,000. This time let's meet a British military vehicle. It's Daimler Scout car Gingo, and it's considered as one of the best light scout cars of that period. By the way, it was produced since 1939. It looks impressive, doesn't it? And if you don't know the dimensions, you might think it's huge. But actually, it's a compact vehicle, slightly bigger than a regular quad. Nevertheless, the weight is 3 tons, due to the heavy armor of the body. It's all-wheel drive car with 6 cylinders engine, 55 HP, and 5 range gearbox. The maximum speed is 90 km per hour. Then it has independent suspension of all the wheels. The body is made of armor plates up to 30 mm thickness, but there is no roof, just a tent. The crew is two people. The weapon is machine gun brand. Also, I want to mention that the seats have some strange looking positions, and I don't know why they are made in this way. Dingo turned out to be a very successful scout car of that period. They were used in the British Army up to 1952, and in other countries up to 1970s. Dodge WC-156. It's well-known truck. They started to produce it in 1942. There were numerous modifications of the car. This one is Commander's version. It's equipped with 92 HP motor, with 4 range gearbox. It has part-time four-wheel drive, hydraulic shocks and brakes, all the contemporary features of that epoch. The drivers of that time stated this vehicle had one of the best off-roading capabilities. Besides, the maximum speed is quite decent, up to 85 km per hour. The interior is standard, I can only notice quite an unusual throttle pedal position. This is well-known car. I can't say it's a unique machine, so why did I include it into this video? 
The matter is, this very vehicle was used by USSR Commander-in-Chief Zhukov in 1945. So it's very exciting moment, cause we can literally touch to the history now. Afterward, this Dodge was sent to France, where it was slightly modified. And it's a great pleasure to see this unique machine in perfect condition. Well guys, let's go today. Please leave your comments if you want me to continue this topic on this channel. Thanks for watching my friends. Take care of yourself and stay healthy. Goodbye.